Good evening, wherever you are. Maybe it's morning for some of you. I want you to know that you do make a difference. Don't let Satan give you suggestions that you are a failure, you are a reject, that you have no part to play on this earth in fulfillment of God's divine plans. God has a plan and, and you have a part to play in that plan. You are alive today because of a particular reason. Two people die every second and you are not one of them. There is a reason for that. You might not know it now. But God created us on purpose and for purpose. We must make a difference. We must make a difference in our family. We must make a difference in our community and beyond. When you surrender and submit your life to God, God can rewire your thinking. God can give you a shift in your mindset. He can help you see things differently. And at times that's all we just need. To have the attitude we need that will catapult us to divine altitudes. God wants to lift us up. God wants to establish us. But we've got to cooperate with this divine operation and that we do intentionally. That's our responsibility. I want to encourage you not to give up on your life right now, not to give up on your dreams that God has given you or the visions that God has given you because of what's happening as a result of COVID-19. We need men and women that don't give up. We need men and women that have this fighting spirit. We need men and women that fight the good fight of faith. A lot of people are hurting. A lot of people want to give up, but there are those that God wants in this season to inspire others, to encourage others, to equip others. Some of you do it through your business. You do it through your, that dream manifesting and being translated into or transformed into reality. You do it through waking up every morning and not giving up. Somebody is watching you. Someone is looking at you. Someone is being influenced by your very response to what's happening around you. So never think you don't make a difference. You do make a difference in someone's life. They are watching you for hope. If you're a parent, if you're a student, if you're a child, if you're a mother, someone's looking upon you just to have hope. Someone is wondering, I wonder how they're going to handle this. If they give up, I give up. Don't let them down. You have a part to play. I want to encourage you right now. In Jesus' mighty name, it's not always about us. We all have a part to play. The lungs have a part to play. It's not about the lungs about every part of the body that is dependent on the functionality of the lungs the bible says in romans chapter 12 verses 1 and 2 it says surrender submit totally to god and let god rewire your thinking so that you can manifest the will of god but god wants you to totally surrender submit so that you can know his will his desires what he wants done doesn't matter how great or impossible it seems. It's God who wants it done. It's God who gets it done. You've just got to cooperate with him. You've got to submit and surrender to him. You've got to trust that his spirit and word will not disappoint you. And you will do great and mighty exploits. goes on in Romans chapter 4, 5. It says, though we are many, we are one body. And each part has a function, has a purpose. We don't have the same function. And I pray that you understand that each part belongs to each other Paul uses the analogy of a human body how united we do great things let's unite as a church let's unite as a church let's understand that the spirit of God on the inside of us comes with gifts for particular functions let's play out our functions whether we are recognized whether we are acknowledged They just do what God has created us to do, just like the lung, the kidney, the pancreas keeps doing its part in the body. Even though you might not say, thank you, kidney, thank you, lung, thank you, heart, for not letting me down. Thank you, heart, for pumping blood around my body. Nobody ever says that. Maybe some of you do when you pray and say, oh God, thank God for the lung. Thank God for the kidney. We should do so. We should bless the Lord at all times and not forget his benefits. Forgives all our sins, heals us of all our diseases. Fills our mouth with good things so that our youth is renewed like the eagles. Go on, just thank him where you are. As I close the session, thank you, Father. You're great, you're mighty, you deserve all the glory. It's Pastor Busani. Thank you for those who were able to join me on the live stream tonight. I believe God did great and mighty things. Miracles are taking place. People are being healed. 
people are being restored people are being empowered for assignment i'm looking forward to tomorrow try and enjoy it's important that we feed on the word of god it's important that we be inspired to inspire encouraged to encourage equipped to equip so that we can do what god created us to do and be a blessing that god has created us to be in the name of jesus in the name of jesus in the name of jesus god bless you and good night love you